أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم O mankind, be careful of your duty to your Lord who created you from a single soul and from it created its mate and from them twain hath spread abroad a multitude of men and women. Be careful of your duty toward Allah in whom ye claim your rights of one another and toward the wombs that bore you. Lo, Allah hath been a watcher over you. Give unto orphans their wealth, exchange not the good for the bad in your management thereof, nor absorb their wealth into your own wealth. Lo, that would be a great sin. And if ye fear that ye will not deal fairly by the orphans, marry of the women who seem good to you, two or three or four. And if ye fear that ye cannot do justice to so many, then one only, or the captives that your right hands possess. Thus it is more likely that ye will not do injustice. And give unto the women whom ye marry free gift of their marriage portions. But if they of their own accord remit unto you a part thereof, then ye are welcome to absorb it in your wealth. Give not unto the foolish what is in your keeping of their wealth, which Allah hath given you to maintain, but feed and clothe them from it and speak kindly unto them. Prove orphans till they reach the marriageable age, then if you find them of sound judgment, deliver over unto them their fortune, and devour it not by squandering and in haste, lest they should grow up. Whoso of the guardians is rich, let him abstain generously from taking off the property of orphans, and whoso is poor, let him take thereof in reason for his guardianship. And when you deliver up their fortune unto orphans, have the transaction witnessed in their presence. Allah sufficeth as a reckoner. Unto the men of a family belongeth a share of that which parents and near kindred leave, and unto the women a share of that which parents and near kindred leave, whether it be little or much, a legal share. And when kinsfolk and orphans and the needy are present at the division of the heritage, bestow on them therefrom and speak kindly unto them. And let those fear in their behavior toward orphans, who if they left behind them weak offspring, would be afraid for them. So let them mind their duty to Allah and speak justly. Lo, those who devour the wealth of orphans wrongfully, they do but swallow fire into their bellies and they will be exposed to burning flame. Allah chargeth you concerning the provisions for your children, to the male the equivalent of the portion of two females, and if there be women more than two, then theirs is two-thirds of the inheritance, and if there be one only, then the half, and to his parents a sixth of the inheritance, if he have a son. And if he have no son, and his parents are his heirs, then to his mother appertaineth the third. And if he have brethren, then to his mother appertaineth the sixth, after any legacy he may have bequeathed, or debt, hath been paid. Your parents or your children, ye know not which of them is nearer unto you in usefulness. It is an injunction from Allah. Lo, Allah is knower, wise. And unto you belongeth a half of that which your wives leave, if they have no child. But if they have a child, then unto you the fourth of that which they leave, after any legacy they may have bequeathed, or debt they may have contracted hath been paid. And unto them belongeth the fourth of that which ye leave, if ye have no child. But if ye have a child, then the eighth of that which ye leave, after any legacy ye may have bequeathed, or debt ye may have contracted hath been paid. And if a man or a woman have a distant heir, having left neither parent nor child, and he or she have a brother or a sister, only on the mother's side, then to each of them twain, the brother and the sister, the sixth, and if they be more than two, then they shall be sharers in the third, after any legacy that may have been bequeathed, or debt contracted, not injuring the heirs by willing away, more than a third of the heritage hath been paid. A commandment from Allah. Allah is knower, indulgent. These are the limits imposed by Allah. Whoso obeyeth Allah and his messenger, he will make him enter gardens underneath which rivers flow, where such will dwell forever, that will be the great success.
And whoso disobeyeth Allah and his messenger and transgresseth his limits, he will make him enter fire, where such will dwell forever, his will be a shameful doom. As for those of your women who are guilty of lewdness, call to witness four of you against them. And if they testify to the truth of the allegation, then confine them to the houses until death take them, or until Allah appoint for them a way through new legislation. And as for the two of you who are guilty thereof, punish them both. And if they repent and improve, then let them be. Lo, Allah is relenting, merciful. Forgiveness is only incumbent on Allah toward those who do evil in ignorance and then turn quickly in repentance to Allah. These are they toward whom Allah relenteth. Allah is ever knower, wise. Forgiveness is not for those who do ill deeds until when death attendeth upon one of them, he saith, Lo, I repent now, nor yet for those who die while they are disbelievers. For such we have prepared a painful doom. O ye who believe, it is not lawful for you forcibly to inherit the women of your deceased kinsmen, nor that ye should put constraint upon them, that ye may take away a part of that which ye have given them, unless they be guilty of flagrant lewdness. But consort with them in kindness, for if ye hate them, it may happen that ye hate a thing wherein Allah hath placed much good. And if ye wish to exchange one wife for another, and ye have given unto one of them a sum of money, however great, take nothing from it. Would ye take it by the way of calumny and open wrong? How can ye take it back after one of you hath gone in unto the other, and they have taken a strong pledge from you? And marry not those women whom your fathers married, except what hath already happened of that nature in the past. Lo, it was ever lewdness and abomination and an evil way. Forbidden unto you are your mothers and your daughters and your sisters and your father's sisters and your mother's sisters and your brother's daughters and your sister's daughters and your foster mothers and your foster sisters and your mothers-in-law and your stepdaughters who are under your protection, born of your women unto whom you have gone in, but if you have not gone in unto them, then it is no sin for you to marry their daughters, and the wives of your sons who spring from your own loins. And it is forbidden unto you that ye should have two sisters together, except what hath already happened of that nature in the past. Lo, Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. And all married women are forbidden unto you save those captives whom your right hands possess. It is a decree of Allah for you. Lawful unto you are all beyond those mentioned, so that ye seek them with your wealth in honest wedlock, not debauchery. And those of whom ye seek content by marrying them, give unto them their portions as a duty. And there's no sin for you in what ye do by mutual agreement after the duty hath been done. Lo, Allah is ever knower, wise. And whoso is not able to afford to marry free believing women, let them marry from the believing maids whom your right hands possess. Allah knoweth best concerning your faith. Ye proceed one from another, so wed them by permission of their folk, and give unto them their portions in kindness, they being honest, not debauched, nor of loose conduct. And if when they are honorably married, they commit lewdness, they shall incur the half of the punishment prescribed for free women in that case. This is for him among you who fareth to commit sin, but to have patience would be better for you. Allah is forgiving, merciful. Allah would explain to you and guide you by the examples of those who were before you and would turn to you in mercy. Allah is knower, wise. And Allah would turn to you in mercy, but those who follow vain desires would have you go tremendously astray. Allah would make the burden light for you, for man was created weak. O ye who believe, squander not your wealth among yourselves in vanity, except it be a trade by mutual consent, and kill not one another. Lo, Allah is ever merciful unto you. And whoso doeth that through aggression and injustice, we shall cast him into fire, and that is ever easy for Allah. 
if ye avoid the great things which ye are forbidden, we will remit from you your evil deeds and make you enter at a noble gate. And covet not the thing in which Allah hath made some of you excel others, unto men a fortune from that which they have earned, and unto women a fortune from that which they have earned. Envy not one another, but ask Allah of his bounty. Lo, Allah is ever knower of all things. And unto each we have appointed heirs of that which parents and their kindred leave. And as for those with whom your right hands have made a covenant, give them their due. Lo, Allah is ever witness over all things. Men are in charge of women, because Allah hath made the one of them to excel the other, and because they spend of their property for the support of women. So good women are the obedient, guarding in secret that which Allah hath guarded. As for those from whom you fear rebellion, admonish them, and banish them to beds apart, and scourge them. Then if they obey you, seek not a way against them. Lo, Allah is ever high, exalted, great. And if ye fear a breach between them twain, the man and wife, appoint an arbiter from his folk and an arbiter from her folk. If they desire amendment, Allah will make them of one mind. Lo, Allah is ever knower, aware. And serve Allah and ascribe nothing as partner unto him. Show kindness unto parents and unto near kindred and orphans and the needy and unto the neighbor who is of kin unto you and the neighbor who is not of kin and the fellow traveler and the wayfarer and the slaves whom your right hands possess. Lo, Allah loveth not such as are proud and boastful. Who hoard their wealth and enjoin avarice on others and hide that which Allah hath bestowed upon them of his bounty. For disbelievers, we prepare a shameful doom. And also those who spend their wealth in order to be seen of men, and believe not in Allah nor the last day, whoso taketh Satan for a comrade, a bad comrade hath he. What have they to fear if they believe in Allah and the last day, and spend a right of that which Allah hath bestowed upon them, when Allah is ever aware of them, and all they do? Lo, Allah wrongeth not even of the weight of an ant, and if there's a good deed, he will double it and will give the doer from his presence an immense reward. But how will it be with them when we bring of every people a witness, and we bring thee, O Muhammad, a witness against these? On that day, those who disbelieved and disobeyed the messenger will wish that they were level with the ground, and they can hide no fact from Allah. O ye who believe, draw not near unto prayer when ye are drunken, till ye know that which ye utter, nor when ye are polluted, save when journeying upon the road till ye have bathed. And if ye be ill or on a journey, or one of you cometh from the closet, or ye have touched women, and ye find not water, then go to high clean soil, and rub your faces and your hands therewith. Lo, Allah is benign, forgiving. Is thou not those unto whom a portion of the scripture hath been given, how they purchase error and seek to make you Muslims err from the right way? Allah knoweth best who are your enemies. Allah is sufficient as a friend, and Allah is sufficient as a helper. Some of those who are Jews change words from their context and say, We hear and disobey. Hear thou as one who heareth not, and listen to us distorting with their tongues and slandering religion. If they had said, We hear and we obey, hear thou and look at us, it had been better for them and more upright. But Allah hath cursed them for their disbelief, so they believe not save a few. O ye unto whom the scripture hath been given, believe in what we have revealed confirming that which ye possess, before we destroy countenances so as to confound them, or curse them as we curse the Sabbath breakers of old time. The commandment of Allah is always executed. So Allah forgiveth not that a partner should be ascribed unto him. He forgiveth all save that to whom he will. Whoso ascribeth partners to Allah, he hath indeed invented a tremendous sin. 
Hast thou not seen those who praise themselves for purity? Nay, Allah purifieth whom he will, and they will not be wronged even the hair upon a date stone. See how they invent lies about Allah? That of itself is flagrant sin. Hast thou not seen those unto whom a portion of the scripture hath been given, how they believe in idols and false deities, and how they say of those idolaters who disbelieve, these are more rightly guided than those who believe. Those are they whom Allah hath cursed, and he whom Allah hath cursed, thou, O Muhammad, wilt find for him no helper. Or have they even a share in the sovereignty? Then in that case, they would not give mankind even the speck on a date stone. Or are they jealous of mankind because of that which Allah of his bounty hath bestowed upon them? For we bestowed upon the house of Abraham of old the scripture and wisdom, and we bestowed on them a mighty kingdom. And of them were some who believed therein, and of them were some who disbelieved therein. Hell is sufficient for their burning. Lo, those who disbelieve our revelations, we shall expose them to the fire. As often as their skins are consumed, we shall exchange them for fresh skins, that they may taste the torment. Lo, Allah is ever mighty, wise. And as for those who believe and do good works, we shall make them enter gardens underneath which rivers flow, to dwell therein for ever. There for them are pure companions, and we shall make them enter plenteous shade. Lo, Allah commandeth you that ye restore deposits to their owners, and if ye judge between mankind, that ye judge justly. Lo, comely is this which Allah admonisheth you. Lo, Allah is ever hearer, seer. O ye who believe, obey Allah, and obey the Messenger and those of you who are in authority. And if ye have a dispute concerning any matter, refer it to Allah and the Messenger, if ye are in truth believers in Allah and the last day. That is better and more seemly in the end. Hast thou not seen those who pretend that they believe in that which is revealed unto thee, and that which was revealed before thee, how they would go for judgment in their disputes to false deities when they have been ordered to abjure them? Satan would mislead them far astray. And when it is said unto them, Come unto that which Allah hath revealed, and unto the messenger, thou seest the hypocrites turn from thee with aversion. How would it be if a misfortune smote them because of that which their own hands have sent before them? Then would they come unto thee, swearing by Allah, that they were seeking naught but harmony and kindness. Those are they, the secrets of whose hearts Allah knoweth. So oppose them, and admonish them, and address them in plain terms about their souls. He sent no messenger save that he should be obeyed by Allah's leave. And if when they had wronged themselves, they had but come unto thee, and asked forgiveness of Allah, and asked forgiveness of the Messenger, they would have found Allah forgiving, merciful. Nay, by thy Lord they will not believe in truth until they make thee judge of what is in dispute between them and find within themselves no dislike of that which thou decidest, and submit with full submission. And if we had decreed for them, lay down your lives or go forth from your dwellings, but few of them would have done it. Though, if they did what they are exhorted to do, it would be better for them and more strengthening. And then we should bestow upon them from our presence an immense reward, and should guide them unto a straight path. Whoso obeyeth Allah and the Messenger, they are with those unto whom Allah hath shown favor of the prophets and the saints and the martyrs and the righteous. The best of company are they. That is the bounty of Allah and Allah sufficeth as Noah. O ye who believe, take your precautions, then advance the proven ones, or advance altogether. Lo, among you there is he who loitereth, and if disaster overtook you, he would say, Allah hath been gracious unto me, since I was not present with them. And if a bounty from Allah befell you, he would surely cry, as if there had been no love between you and him. Oh, 
would that I had been with them, then should I have achieved a great success. Let those fight in the way of Allah who sell the life of this world for the other. Whoso fighteth in the way of Allah, be he slain or be he victorious, on him we shall bestow a vast reward. How should ye not fight for the cause of Allah and of the feeble among men and of the women and the children who are crying? Our Lord, bring us forth from out this town of which the people are oppressors. O, oh, give us from thy presence some protecting friend. O, oh, give us from thy presence some defender. Those who believe do battle for the cause of Allah, and those who disbelieve do battle for the cause of idols. So fight the minions of the devil. Lo, the devil's strategy is ever weak. Hast thou not seen those unto whom it was said, Withhold your hands, establish worship, and pay the poor due? But when fighting was prescribed for them, behold, a party of them fear mankind, even as they fear of Allah, or with greater fear, and say, Our Lord, why hast thou ordained fighting for us? If only thou wouldst give us respite yet a while. Say unto them, O Muhammad, the comfort of this world is scant. The hereafter will be better for him who warded off evil, and ye will not be wronged the down upon a date stone. Wheresoever ye may be, death will overtake you, even though ye were in lofty towers. Yet, if a happy thing befalleth them, they say, This is from Allah. And if an evil thing befalleth them, they say, This is of thy doing, O Muhammad. Say unto them, All is from Allah. What is amiss with these people that they come not nigh to understand a happening? Whatever a good befalleth thee, O man, it is from Allah. And whatever of ill befalleth thee, it is from thyself. We have sent thee, Muhammad, as a messenger unto mankind, and Allah is sufficient as witness. Whoso obeyeth the messenger obeyeth Allah, and whoso turneth away, we have not sent thee as a warder over them. And they say, It is obedience, but when they have gone forth from thee, a party of them spend the night in planning other than what thou sayest. Allah recordeth what they plan by night. So oppose them and put thy trust in Allah. Allah is sufficient as trustee. Will they not then ponder on the Qur'an? If it had been from other than Allah, they would have found therein much incongruity. And if any tidings, whether of safety or fear, came unto them, they noise it abroad. Whereas, if they had referred it to the messenger and such of them as are in authority, those among them who are able to think out the matter would have known it. If it had not been for the grace of Allah upon you and his mercy, ye would have followed Satan, save a few of you. So fight, O Muhammad, in the way of Allah. Thou art not taxed with the responsibility of anyone except for thyself, and urge on the believers. Peradventure Allah will restrain the might of those who disbelieve. Allah is stronger in might and stronger in inflicting punishment. Whoso interveneth in a good cause will have the reward thereof, and whoso interveneth in an evil cause will bear the consequence thereof. Allah overseeth all things. When ye are greeted with a greeting, greet ye with better than it, or return it. Lo, Allah taketh count of all things. Allah, there's no God save Him. He gathereth you all unto a day of resurrection, whereof there is no doubt. Who is more true in statement than Allah? What aileth you that ye are become two parties regarding the hypocrites, when Allah cast them back to disbelief because of what they earned? Seek ye to guide him whom Allah hath sent astray? He whom Allah sendeth astray, for him thou, O Muhammad, canst not find a road. They long that ye should disbelieve, even as they disbelieve, that ye may be upon a level with them. So choose not friends from them till they forsake their homes in the way of Allah. If they turn back to enmity, then take them and kill them wherever ye find them, and choose no friend nor helper from among them. Except those who seek refuge with the people between whom and you there is a covenant, or those who come unto you because their hearts forbid them to make war 
on you or make war on their own folk. Had Allah willed, He could have given them power over you so that assuredly they would have fought you. So if they hold aloof from you and wage not war against you and offer you peace, Allah alloweth you no way against them. Ye will find others who desire that they should have security from you and security from their own folk. So often as they are returned to hostility, they are plunged therein. If they keep not aloof from you, nor offer you peace, nor hold their hands, then take them and kill them wherever ye find them. Against such we have given you clear warrant. It is not for a believer to kill a believer unless it be by mistake. He who hath killed a believer by mistake must set free a believing slave and pay the blood money to the family of the slain unless they remit it as a charity. If he the victim be of a people hostile unto you and he is a believer, then the penance is to set free a believing slave. And if he cometh of a folk between whom and you there is a covenant, then the blood money must be paid unto his folk and also a believing slave must be set free. And whoso hath not the wherewithal must fast two consecutive months, a penance from Allah. Allah is knower wise. Whoso slayeth a believer of set purpose, his reward is hell for ever. Allah is wroth against him, and he hath cursed him, and prepared for him an awful doom. O ye who believe, when ye go forth to fight in the way of Allah, be careful to discriminate, and say not unto one who offereth you peace, Thou art not a believer, seeking the chance profits of this life, so that ye may despoil him. With Allah are plenteous spoils. Even thus, as he now is, were ye before, but Allah hath since then been gracious unto you. Therefore, take care to discriminate. Allah is ever informed of what ye do. Those of the believers who sit still other than those who have a disabling hurt are not on an equality with those who strive in the way of Allah with their wealth and lives. Allah hath conferred on those who strive with their wealth and lives a rank above the sedentary. Unto each Allah hath promised good, but he hath bestowed on those who strive a great reward above the sedentary. Degrees of rank from him and forgiveness and mercy. Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. Lo, as for those whom the angels take in death while they wrong themselves, the angels will ask, In what were ye engaged? They will say, We were oppressed in the land. The angels will say, Was not Allah's earth spacious that you could have migrated therein? As for such, their habitation will be hell, and evil journeys end. Except the feeble among men, and the women, and the children, who are unable to devise a plan, and are not shown away. As for such, it may be that Allah will pardon them. Allah is ever clement, forgiving. Whoso migrateth for the cause of Allah will find much refuge and abundance in the earth. And whoso forsaketh his home, a fugitive unto Allah and his messenger, and death overtaketh him, his reward is then incumbent on Allah. Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. And when thou, O Muhammad, art among them and arrangest their worship for them, let only a party of them stand with thee to worship, and let them take their arms. Then when they have performed their prostrations, let them fall to the rear and let another party come that hath not worshipped and let them worship with thee and let them take their precaution and their arms. Those who disbelieve long for you to neglect your arms and your baggage that they may attack you once for all. It is no sin for you to lay aside your arms if rain impedeth you or ye are sick. But take your precaution, lo, Allah prepareth for the disbelievers shameful punishment. When ye have performed the act of worship, remember Allah standing, sitting and reclining. And when ye are in safety, observe proper worship. Worship at fixed hours hath been enjoined on the believers. Relent not in the pursuit of the enemy. If ye are suffering, lo, they suffer even as ye suffer and ye hope from Allah that for which they cannot hope. 
Allah is ever knower, wise. So we reveal unto thee the scripture with the truth that thou mayst judge between mankind by that which Allah showeth thee. And be not thou a pleader for the treacherous. And seek forgiveness of Allah. Lo, Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. And plead not on behalf of people who deceive themselves. Lo, Allah loveth not one who is treacherous and sinful. They seek to hide from men and seek not to hide from Allah. He is with them when by night they hold discourse displeasing unto him. Allah ever surroundeth what they do. Lo, ye are they who pleaded for them in the life of the world. But who will plead with Allah for them on the day of resurrection? Or who will then be their defender? Yet, whoso doeth evil or wrongeth his own soul, then seeketh pardon of Allah, will find Allah forgiving, merciful. Whoso committeth sin committeth it only against himself. Allah is ever knower, wise. And whoso committeth a delinquency or crime, then throweth the blame thereof upon the innocent, hath burdened himself with falsehood and a flagrant crime. But for the grace of Allah upon thee, Muhammad, and his mercy, a party of them had resolved to mislead thee, but they will mislead only themselves, and they will hurt thee not at all. Allah revealeth unto thee the scripture and wisdom, and teacheth thee that which thou knewest not. The grace of Allah toward thee hath been infinite. There is no good in much of their secret conferences save in him who enjoineth almsgiving and kindness and peacemaking among the people. Whoso doeth that, seeking the good pleasure of Allah, we shall bestow on him a vast reward. And whoso opposeth the messenger after the guidance of Allah hath been manifested unto him, and followeth other than the believer's way, we appoint for him that unto which he himself hath turned, and expose him unto hell, a hapless journey's end. Though Allah pardoneth, not that partners should be ascribed unto him, he pardoneth all save that to whom he will. Whoso ascribeth partners unto Allah hath wandered far astray. They invoke in his stead only females. They pray to none else than Satan, a rebel. Whom Allah cursed, and he said, Surely I will take of thy bondman an appointed portion. And surely I will lead them astray, and surely I will arouse desires in them, and surely I will command them, and they will cut the cattle's ears, and surely I will command them, and they will change Allah's creation. Whoso chooseth Satan for a patron instead of Allah is verily a loser, and his loss is manifest. He promiseth them and stirreth up desires in them, and Satan promiseth them only to beguile. For such their habitation will be hell, and they will find no refuge therefrom. But as for those who believe and do good works, we shall bring them into gardens underneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide forever. It is a promise from Allah in truth, and who can be more truthful than Allah in utterance? It will not be in accordance with your desires, nor the desires of the people of the scripture. He who doeth wrong will have the recompense thereof, and will not find against Allah any protecting friend or helper. And whoso doeth good works, whether of male or female, and he or she is a believer, such will enter paradise, and they will not be wronged, the dint in the date stone. Who is better in religion than he who surrendereth his purpose to Allah, while doing good to men, and followed the tradition of Abraham, the upright? Allah himself chose Abraham for friend. Unto Allah belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth. Allah ever surroundeth all things. They consult thee concerning women. Say, Allah giveth you decree concerning them, and the scripture which hath been recited unto you giveth decree concerning female orphans and those unto whom ye give not that which is ordained for them, though ye desire to marry them, and concerning the weak among children, and that ye should deal justly with orphans. 
Whatever good ye do, lo, Allah is ever aware of it. If a woman fareth ill treatment from her husband or desertion, it is no sin for them twain if they make terms of peace between themselves. Peace is better. But greed hath been made present in the minds of men. If ye do good and keep from evil, lo, Allah is ever informed of what ye do. Ye will not be able to deal equally between your wives, however much ye wish to do so. But turn not altogether away from one, leaving her as in suspense. If ye do good and keep from evil, lo, Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. But if they separate, Allah will compensate each out of his abundance. Allah is ever all-embracing, all-knowing. Unto Allah belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth. And we charge those who receive the scripture before you, and we charge you that ye keep your duty toward Allah. And if ye disbelieve, lo, unto Allah belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth. And Allah is ever absolute, owner of praise. Unto Allah belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth. And Allah is sufficient as defender. If he will, he can remove you, O people, and produce others in your stead. Allah is able to do that. Whoso desireth the reward of the world, let him know that, with Allah, is the reward of the world and the hereafter. Allah is ever hearer, seer. O ye who believe, be ye staunch in justice, witnesses for Allah, even though it be against yourselves, or your parents, or your kindred. Whether the case be of a rich man or a poor man, for Allah is nearer unto both than ye are. So follow not passion, lest ye lapse from truth. And if ye lapse or fall away, then lo, Allah is ever informed of what ye do. O ye who believe, believe in Allah and his messenger and the scripture which he hath revealed unto his messenger and the scripture which he revealed aforetime. Whoso disbelieveth in Allah and his angels and his scriptures and his messengers and the last day, he verily hath wandered far astray. Lo, those who believe, then disbelieve, and then again believe, then disbelieve, and then increase in disbelief, Allah will never pardon them, nor will he guide them unto a way. Bear unto the hypocrites the tidings that for them there's a painful doom. Those who choose disbelievers for their friends instead of believers, do they look for power at their hands? Lo, all power appertaineth to Allah. He hath already revealed unto you in the scripture that when ye hear the revelations of Allah rejected and derided, ye sit not with them who disbelieve and mock until they engage in some other conversation. Lo, in that case, if ye stayed, ye would be like unto them. Lo, Allah will gather hypocrites and disbelievers all together into hell. Those who wait upon occasion in regard to you, and if a victory cometh unto you from Allah, say, Are we not with you? And if the disbelievers meet with a success, say, Had we not the mastery of you, and did we not protect you from the believers? Allah will judge between you at the day of resurrection, and Allah will not give the disbelievers any way of success against the believers. Lo, the hypocrites seek to beguile Allah, but it is Allah who beguileth them. When they stand up to worship, they perform it languidly and to be seen of men, and are mindful of Allah but little. Swaying between this and that, belonging neither to these nor to those, he whom Allah causeth to go astray, thou, O Muhammad, wilt not find a way for him. O ye who believe, choose not disbelievers for your friends in place of believers. Would ye give Allah a clear warrant against you? So, the hypocrites will be in the lowest deep of the fire, and thou wilt find no helper for them. Save those who repent and amend, and hold fast to Allah, and make their religion pure for Allah only. Those are with the believers. 
and Allah will bestow on the believers an immense reward. What concern hath Allah for your punishment if ye are thankful for his mercies and believe in him? Allah was ever responsive, aware. Allah loveth not the utterance of harsh speech save by one who hath been wronged. Allah is ever hearer, knower. If ye do good openly or keep it secret, or forgive evil, lo, Allah is ever forgiving, powerful. O oh, those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers, and seek to make distinction between Allah and his messengers, and say, We believe in some and disbelieve in others, and seek to choose a way in between. Such are disbelievers in truth, and for disbelievers we prepare a shameful doom. But those who believe in Allah and his messengers and make no distinction between any of them, unto them Allah will give their wages. And Allah was ever forgiving, merciful. People of the scripture ask of thee that thou shouldst cause an actual book to descend upon them from heaven. They ask a greater thing of Moses aforetime, for they said, Show us Allah plainly. The storm of lightning seized them for their wickedness. Then even after that, they chose the car for worship after clear proofs of Allah's sovereignty had come unto them. And we forgave them that, and we bestowed on Moses evident authority. And we caused the mount to tar above them at the taking of their covenant. And we bade them, enter the gate prostrate. And we bade them, transgress not the Sabbath, and we took from them a firm covenant. And because of their breaking of their covenant and their disbelieving in the revelations of Allah and their slaying of the prophets wrongfully, and their saying, Our hearts are hardened. Nay, but Allah hath set a seal upon them for their disbelief, so that they believe not save a few. And because of their disbelief and of their speaking against Mary, a tremendous calumny. And because of their saying, We slew the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, Allah's messenger. They slew him not, nor crucified, but it appeared so unto them. And lo, those who disagree concerning it are in doubt thereof. They have no knowledge thereof, save pursuit of a conjecture. They slew him not for certain. But Allah took him up unto himself, Allah was ever mighty wise. There is not one of the people of the scripture but will believe in him before his death and on the day of resurrection he will be a witness against them. Because of the wrongdoing of the Jews we forbade them good things which were before made lawful unto them and because of their much hindering from Allah's way and of their taking usury when they were forbidden it and of their devouring people's wealth by false pretenses. We have prepared for those of them who disbelieve a painful doom. Those of them who are firm in knowledge, and the believers believe in that which is revealed unto thee, and that which was revealed before thee, especially the diligent in prayer, and those who pay the poor due, the believers in Allah and the last day. Upon these we shall bestow immense reward. So we inspire thee as we inspired Noah and the prophets after him, as we inspired Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes, and Jesus and Job and Jonah and Aaron and Solomon, and as we imparted unto David the Psalms. And messengers we have mentioned unto thee before, and messengers we have not mentioned unto thee. And Allah spake directly unto Moses. Messengers of good cheer and of warning, in order that mankind might have no argument against Allah after the messengers. Allah was ever mighty, wise. But Allah himself testifieth concerning that which he hath revealed unto thee. In his knowledge hath he revealed it, and the angels also testify, and Allah is sufficient witness. Lo, those who disbelieve and hinder others from the way of Allah, they verily have wandered far astray. 
Lo, those who disbelieve and deal in wrong, Allah will never forgive them, neither will He guide them unto a road, except the road of hell, wherein they will abide forever, and that is ever easy for Allah. O mankind, the Messenger hath come unto you with the truth from your Lord. Therefore believe, it is better for you. But if ye disbelieve, still lo, unto Allah belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens and the earth. Allah is ever knower, wise. O people of the scripture, do not exaggerate in your religion nor utter aught concerning Allah save the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger of Allah, and his word which he conveyed unto Mary, and a spirit from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers, and say not, Three, seize, it is better for you. Allah is only one God. Far is it removed from his transcendent majesty that he should have a son. His is all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth, and Allah is sufficient as defender. The Messiah will never scorn to be a slave unto Allah, nor will the favored angels. Whoso scorneth his service and is proud, all such will he assemble unto him. And as for those who believed and did good works, unto them will he pay their wages in full, adding unto them of his bounty, and as for those who were scornful and proud, them will he punish with a painful doom. And they will not find for them against Allah any protecting friend or helper. O mankind, now hath a proof from your Lord come unto you, and we have sent down unto you a clear light. As for those who believe in Allah and hold fast unto him, them he will cause to enter into his mercy and grace and will guide them unto him by a straight road. We ask thee for a pronouncement. Say, Allah hath pronounced for you concerning distant kindred. If a man die childless, and he have a sister, hers is half the heritage, and he would have inherited from her had she died childless. And if there be two sisters, then theirs are two-thirds of the heritage. And if they be brethren, men and women, Unto the male is the equivalent of the share of two females. Allah expoundeth unto you, so that ye err not. Allah is knower of all things.